Firstly, just let me show you something. This channel named Quiz Monster, they just hook the audience with these simple videos and they get more than $10,000 per month. Now this channel named Guesser, they just make similar videos. They have over $20,000 per month and they're not that like old. Have a look at this. They've been created last year, exactly last year, and they do get a lot of views. Have a look at this. 5 million views in the last 30 days, according to Social Blade. It's the same with Quiz Monster. They're older, but they get a huge number of views. But when you see their videos, it's like guess the voice of a footballer, like guess the correct flag, guess the food down there, and Guesser has similar content. And it's not unusual on their videos to see comments like this. People are not only writing how many answers they got right, but they also just really appreciate the videos and they really, really love them. That is because the content like this is really, really good good for any audience. Little kids, teenagers, older people, it's just fun. And trust me when I say it, it is not hard to make something like this. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can create these with bulk just using ChatGPT and Canva.com, of course. So firstly, we're going to use ChatGPT in order to generate something like this. It's going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so just take some notes or just come back to the video. Just pay attention. This is the prompt that I want you to use on ChatGPT. Give me 15 countries and a hint that represents the country in a table of three columns. Numbers on the first column, hint on the second column, and the country names on the third column. Now, this is what I've got. Okay, so this is exactly what we need. We need something that represents the Japan, for example, and that's Samurai, and this is what we need, the country name. So, 15 of these, it's enough for now. Now, what I want you to do, go over to Canva, switch over to Videos section, click on Create Blank, and this is what I want for long-form content, 1920 by 1080. When you get inside, firstly, go over to Elements here, and in here, I want you to type a certain background. I'm gonna go with blue background. I always love that one. Now just head over to videos and then just choose a certain black background. I can choose this one. Now down there, you can see that this video is 20 seconds long, but I want each one of these sections to be 12 seconds. So I'm just gonna move this, click on here, move it to the left, until it's the desired number of seconds depends on what you want and from here on you just play with it first of all i'm just head over back to this and i'm going to search for a country flag i'll have to decide which one of these i want to get first so let's just go with the first one brazil i'm going to paste brazil in here click the enter key head over to photos and usually there's going to be a flag there if for any case you can't see a flag just add flag. You can see people were searching for it, Brazil flag, and you're going to get a lot of these. Now, these with a crown, you will have to pay for. And for the feature that I'm just going to show you later, you will have to pay for a subscription on Canva. But the good news is you have a free trial if you click on the link down below and you're going to get 30 days of it. Totally enough. So I've got the flag of Brazil. I will click on one of these and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to add this to folder. If you don't have any folders, just click on create new, write the corresponding name, add to new folder, and now we need a frame for it. Here you can click on this arrow here, click on the frames, and in the frames you're going to search for rectangle. But I want that to be with a border, so just search for rectangle border and you will find something. Now because this is a long form content, you need something which is wide. So scroll down until you find certain frame which has a wide 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So. It can be this one, for example, move and drag and drop, then just resize this one until you feel it's okay. So place this in here. Now we just have to place the flag inside of this one, either from this one or from the folder. Now we just need to add a bit of a text, add a heading and type which country is this. Now you can of course change the colors of this one. So you can just choose which any, for example, yellow color for the text, resize this one. And I want this to be at the top of my video. So you can just do it like this, move this until it has the desired size. Now, if you just run into problems, just experience and just play with the colors until it can be seen really nice, okay? Just play with the white or some different colors until you get something which suits this nice, okay? It just has to be visible. Now, if you wanna change the font, fonts are here, 
choose whichever one of these you want. This Chewy is good for me. I'm going to use that one. And what I like for these like headlines, I like to underline them. So underline them. It's looking good now. Now I need just the number. Now I'm just going to go back to elements. I'm just going to go and I'm just going to type the circle. I need a shape. So circle, here it is. I'm going to put it right there, resize it. I'm going to type a number 10 because I'm going to make 10 or 15. However, of these you want, increase the size of it. And of course, I'm going to change the color of this one. So it's better suited. Now I want to go over to the text once more, click on the add a subheading. And now I'm just going to type hint. I need hint. That's where we place these. So you can write hint, copy this one, paste it again. And this one you will edit and you will just write that hint that chat gpt gave you the hint for brazil is samba of course type that in and move these for example like this now you can differentiate these you can take hint and you can just make it smaller or you can just take samba and make it a bit bigger so it has a hint now i'm just going to change the colors of this one as well because red seems to be working well on this background and the last thing that we want to make is we want to give it a country name add a heading once more Tap in Brazil because this is Brazil. Change the color in whichever one you want. I'm going to take red, change all Brazil. I want it to be down there as a final answer to our question. Okay, so that's it. That's how you make the one. After this one, it is way more easier. But what I want now, I want to animate all of these and I want to put the timing on each one of these elements. So this is the way in which you can do that. Click on this one, for example, but in this case, I'm gonna work with two of these. So shift and you can select more of these items. Right click on it and you see here, show timing. Click on show timing. Then just move this playhead until you want that element to show. So I want this hint to be shown at 0.5 seconds. What I wanna do, I just wanna move this like this and now it's gonna show after the beginning of the video. So just let me play this so you can see. So it appears now, but at the same time, I want this to appear as well. So I'm gonna right click on it, click on show timing if it's not on, and then you can just move the play hat once again, align this hat to here, and then I'm gonna do that with this one as well. Move it, just align it until it be there. And I want this picture, this frame to be the exact same way. Now, for this, of course, the, you want this to begin as the last option. So I'm now just going to click it like this. So the last three seconds is going to be enough. I'm going to move this like this. Now just watch how this looks like. Let's play this from the beginning and you can right away see that everything is coming like this. Now, the thing that you can do more is to add a timer. So it's just like more intriguing, you know, until the answer appears. And of course you can animate these. So I really like to animate on Canva because it looks just way, way better. So if I just go like this, I'm just going to click on the item, whichever one you want, click on the animate here and then choose what kind of animation you want. So I want this to fade. I want this one as well to fade. Click on that fade hint and Samba. I want to fade as well. Like this one, I'm going to fade this one or I'm just going to pop the flag. It's going to be good. And I'm going to pop the answer as well. So I'm just going to click on the Brazil, click on the pop. And now is how it's looked like. Okay. So I'm just going to play this now so you can see. So it pops, it fades in. And of course, I'm just going to make this like a bit more faster. You can see the Brazil pops as well. So maybe Brazil should be like a bit more different, but that is up to you to play. Okay. So this is the example of each one of these videos. Now, of course, you don't have to go and create each one of these. The thing that you can do on Canva, but unfortunately it's a paid feature is head here order to apps. And then you just search for bulk create. Now bulk create is a really, really good option. It gives you the option to create all of these based on the template. But as you can see, you can try it for free for 30 days. And what are you going to do? You're just going to have the table inside, just like this one. Now, all that you will have to do is to copy all of these into the table in Canva. And then with a simple click of a button, each one of these will have a respective column. You will just add the image column and place all of these images there. You're just going to search for Australia flag, Egypt flag, a lot of these, and you're just going to put those in the folder which you have created, respective country folder. 
and the table on Canva is going to look exactly the same. It's going to have the number, it's going to have the hint, it's going to have the country, and it's going to have the image. And when you click on bulk create, it's going to create dozens of these videos, 15 of course, and it's going to be suited. Okay, so each one of these is going to be like this. It's going to be summarize, hint, Japan as an answer. It's going to follow the same style, the same background is going to be, and you have yourself a long form video. Now, of course, you will just have to like put more of these countries. If you want to make a longer form video, you can just go with five minutes. So for example, I don't know if it's 12 seconds long, you can do the math. And if you want to make a short form content, you can do that as well. So for example, it can be like two or maybe four at max of these countries. So it can be the short form content as well. You just have to flip like the aspect ratio. Okay. You're just going to find that on Canva. It is not hard to do. You can automate the process. And of course you can get much more ideas from those channels that we have shown at the beginning. So quiz monster, remember this one and this guesser. Okay. So you can just go and do some research. So for example, you can see guess the food, guess the flag, guess the dress voice, like these celebrities or whatnot. There's many ideas. You just have to choose one and you just have to follow the example. Canva is a really easy tool to use and anyone can use that. Okay. Once you just get yourself acknowledged, once you just get some experience with it, just go and pay for a subscription. Now it's like 12, $15 per month and you can create a lot of these videos. Then trust me, this number is not so far. Only consistency will bring you there. Work hard for it. Just go and see what's what. If this is for you, just take it. Grab the chance. I'll catch you.